I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, recent past energy between you and your person, Two of Swords, ends with the King of Wands. Now the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships or your partnership is likely to be going somewhere well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the connection and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance, but this will definitely require open communication. Now, it's with the King of Wands. King of Wands can actually indicate a man. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Um, this would be someone who would want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is actually a positive card in the tarot, even when it does not represent an actual person in your life. It can signify that you could have men around you who are supportive of you and they think well of you. So you could be feeling very ambitious, goal-oriented, and you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in your mind. <coughs> So basically, what I'm picking up on is that with the Two of Swords being clarified by this King of Wands is that, yeah, this Two of Swords is, is telling me that you could be wanting to, or you did, you, block, you blocked your person, you, you're starting to avoid your person, or that's what you did with this recent past energy. Um, this person, they, they care a lot about you. They uh, have very caring and protective feelings towards you or the connection or both. But it looks like you, you chose to block this person or you're just avoiding them for some reason. But they have emotions for you. Yeah, King of Wands can be about, like I said, um, having caring and protective feelings. Could be about you, or, be, or maybe just the connection. Your person, they, um, their emotions are, are involved. But you cho you've chosen to, like I said, you, maybe you're trying to avoid them now. Or that's what you did in the recent past. Yeah, you could have started blocking their messages and their, or their calls or something like that. Two of Swords, avoids and block. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, we got this Ace of Swords, and it's with the Sun card. Now, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning in some sort. In your life, possibly on several fronts. Now, sometimes this new beginning will get started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a job, a relationship, a neighborhood, or a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. Now, it's with the Sun card. With this card, things are likely to be going well. However, even though your finances are likely to be in really good shape when you get this card in a reading, just know that this does not mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. Now, for I know some of you it is. 
but it's saying it's a reminder to take time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about, and if you're looking for a new job, the sun card is actually um, an indicator that it's right around the corner. So coming up, um, Ace of Swords, clarified by the sun. So what I am getting here is that Yeah, like I said, you, you, you block this person, you're avoiding this person, and you realize um, that the only way for you to be happy, again, with yourself, with life, or maybe just overall, is to not only block them and avoid them, but actually to cut them out because the Ace of Swords cuts out and then you get these great new beginnings. And the Sun card is about, it's about happiness, um, adding sunshine to your life or someone else's, but yeah. So coming up, like I said, you're going to realize that not only do you need to block this person, but it's really time to cut cut this whole thing out with this person. And you you know now that the only way you're really gonna be happy with the sun card showing up here is about happiness. The only way you're gonna really find your your happiness is by actually just sticking a fork in it. Or, or, yeah, and just letting it be done, cutting it out. That's what the Ace of Swords does. And you realize that that's the only way you're going to get your, your um, great new beginnings. Yeah, new beginnings get started by some type of separation or some type of cutting out. That's what the Ace of Swords is. And the new beginnings can be on several levels, so... Like I said, underneath it all is really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go and where you need to be. So that's what's coming up. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles and it's with the Five of Swords. Okay, so this Eight of Pentacles... Eight of Pentacles, it, it indicates necessary efforts. So you could have a lot, a lot on your plate, a lot that you need to get accomplished, dedication to the task. It's important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can actually be counterproductive. So you got to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. Yeah. So, the Eight of Pentacles indicates a very hard work period. Um, it's not a negative thing, but you do have to be prepared for it. Now, it's with this Five of Swords. You know, with the Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life um, in general, or maybe a few people or a person in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but... You have to make sure that you, um, make sure you don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling either because this could actually ruin the things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. You have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know that they deserve it. So your challenge Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Swords. So what I am picking up on here is that, um, like I said, your person, they, they feel or they know or you'll be telling them that it's time for this to stop. The Ace of Swords cuts out and goes on to new beginnings. 
So you could be telling your person this. Yeah, you could be telling them that you're cutting them out. Or it's just, it's, um, they could probably feel it if you're not telling them. Um, they could feel, or you, they already know you're trying to go towards new beginnings. Or a new beginning. And they're upset. The Five of Swords, the card below the word challenge. Um, this person is very mad. You see him running around with two swords in his hand. Yeah, there was there were there were people sitting there at that fire in front of them, and they got a glimpse of him, and they all scrammed. So your person is upset um, because they were willing to work hard. Eight of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge. They were willing to work hard on this connection just to make it work. But they see you want a new beginning somewhere else without them. They know that you want to go towards happiness. And it's not with them. So, that's a challenge. Just move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands. And it's with the Chariot. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She could have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished, maybe focused on work or career. The Queen is actually a very positive, uplifting energy. And when it does stand for an actual person in your life, she's a good friend who is solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in a reading, well, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, so the Chariot. The Chariot has a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's actually directed. It's controlled. And it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you are likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes, on what your dreams involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, this card, it does point to determination, ambition, getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But remember, though, you're going to have to use both your intellect in your heart in order to truly be successful. So the outcome Virgo Queen of Wands clarified by the chariot. So yeah, it looks like you're determined to make um, to go forward with your new plans and your new goals and aspirations. And you're like so ready because the chariot goes really fast. But like I said, it's not a free-for-all energy. It has a plan. Everything's all mapped out. And you're like so anxious and so ready. Ready to go towards some new beginning. Go towards some happy days. You're so ready for this to be over and done with. You're very determined. Queen of Wands is determined. Queen of Wands can be egotistical, used to getting what she wants. The Queen of Wands knows her worth. So you're going forward. And like I said, the chariot goes really fast. So once you go forward, things could take off really fast. Or you're just ready to go like, like yesteryear. Like never before, you're just out of there. Yeah, you person, they're upset though. Yeah, very pissed. They were willing to work on this really hard. So that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below 
of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. <clears throat> There's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next for the next Virgo reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe in the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And, and um, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them, or they could be you. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are having a wonderful New Year's. I hope to um, see you guys for the next reading. I'm wishing all of you the best of 2021. Once again, I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you for the next reading. And take care.